Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about gold and minerals and our strategy going forward. Uh, I will be making forward-looking statements here. There are risks involved uh, that describe those, uh, those statements. Uh, it's very well spelled out on our website. If you have a look, uh, that would be good for, for you and for me. Our business strategy going forward. Um, we, we intend to reestablish ourselves as a producer of gold and silver. Uh, our properties are, are in Argentina, Mexico, and Nevada. And the, the main path forward for us is uh, reestablishing a plan for the Velardania properties, which we uh, recently reacquired uh, after a sale fell through. We're going to do that by updating the PEA. The PEA update is based on a biooxidation technology which is working really well for Kirkland Lake Gold in, in Fosterville, Australia, and it can work very well for us at Gold Minerals at Velardania. Um, we'll be putting that out uh, first quarter uh, 2020, um, and uh, um, based on that, you know, we'll be able to show the path forward back to production. Meanwhile, we have our, our El Cavar asset in Argentina, a very large high-grade silver project. Uh, we've recently completed some drilling. I'll talk about that, and I'll talk about our pipeline of projects uh, in Mexico and recently in Nevada. We trade on the NYSE American and the TSX under the symbol AUMN, currently trading about 22 cents US. Uh, there's just over 100 million shares outstanding. Investment uh, thesis for gold minerals is, is based on a number of, of items. One, we're we make uh, money right now. We're, we're revenue producing um, based on a, a lease of our plant in Velardania, Mexico, Durango. Uh, we've been leasing that out to uh, Hecla for about uh, three years now. It makes about five million a year, which we reinvest into uh, exploration and developing our properties. We have a very large resource base. Um, there's about uh, 1.2 silver equivalent ounces per share of gold mineral stock. That's a stock trading at 22 cents. You can do the math. Um, so that's good value. We have a number of uh, PEAs published. Most recently, the El Cavar study, uh, PEA published in 2018, showing an interesting starting NPV, about 45 million, and, and the way forward on that. Uh, we have cash in the bank, enough to forward our plans. We'll be increasing that based on some asset sales. Uh, we have zero debt, um, very strong pipeline of properties going forward, and an experienced, successful management team. One graph to look at is this uh, graph showing uh, the movement of silver in blue uh, from 2016 and the uh, golden mineral share price in red over the same period. And you can see in the run-up in 2016, from $14 silver to $20 silver, gold minerals ran up from about 20 cents to over a dollar. And the current run-up here recently, uh, earlier this year to 19, we didn't move. Like a lot of our, our, our compatriots, a lot of our peers, we have yet to move to close that gap, which means there's still opportunity. We're still at a great entry price, and, and I think our story going forward is compelling. We have a strong shareholder base, uh, almost 50% uh, institutional, underpinned by the uh, sentient private equity group out of Australia. They've been a, a very good backer. They own about 39% now. I'll talk a bit about our Argentina property. It's district scale. It's a huge property, 60,000 hectares. Uh, we've, we've got a, a resource in a very small portion of one of two very large high sulfidation epithermal alteration systems. There's a lot of uh, additional potential here to be explored. We've been working away at it. Uh, it's expensive. We're, we're looking for a partner. We've been looking for a partner for a while. I think we've got a couple of companies interested enough to participate, which will spread the risk and, and allow us to move forward uh, more quickly. We've recently finished a 3,000 meter drilling campaign in, in the area. Uh, with excellent results. So we had uh, new holes in a new area about two kilometers south of our main asset, which is the red line in the photo. Um, that's the, uh, the, the footprint uh, of the Yachte deposit. About two kilometers south, we're getting uh, you know, half, kilo, half kilo silver per ton in a new area called Vince that we haven't finished delineating. So there's, there's lots of good potential left to be had here. 
The PEA results that we published in 2018 show the possibility of a very interesting project that could produce just under 5 million silver ounces per year at a cash cost all in of under $10 per ounce. It's a little bit small size so far. We can make it bigger, we intend to. Um, and it's very leveraged to the silver price. As silver goes up, the value of the asset goes up um, enormously. You can see in the graph here that uh, about a $1 per ounce change in silver price yields about a $15 million change in NPV value. Um, so that's really good news for an increasing silver price environment, especially in a property where we can make that asset a lot larger, and we intend to do so. You can see how the asset's positioned among the, uh, the, the, the global scheme. This is a, a plot showing primary silver resources, uh, m and quality or better in the Western Hemisphere. We're number eight in terms of grade at 482 gram, grams per ton. Silver KVAR is a very interesting deposit. Uh, of the seven that are higher grade, four are in production and two will be in the not too long future. I think it shows exactly how important KVAR is in the spectrum of silver deposits in the world. The Velardania story, um, it's a very interesting resource. It's been a long history. Um, the, the last time we operated in 2015, our biggest problem was the lack of gold recovery, uh, poor payable gold recovery from the pyrite concentrate where most of that gold reports. The biooxidation technique gives us a way to solve that problem and we do have existing results that show we can get better than 90% payable on, on the gold from the pyrite concentrate. And this is in, in comparison to less than 20% payable last time we operated. So that difference makes all the difference in this asset. We'll be putting that study out uh, hopefully in Q1 2020 and, and that'll be the story to follow. We are still making money on the oxide lease, as, as I mentioned. The current lease expires at the end of 2020, but there's a number of options going forward for us to continue that revenue stream, one of which is to produce from our Rodeo Gold Deposit, which is a, it's a published uh, uh, resource right now. Uh, we'll, we'll be putting out a PEA to show the economic impact of that resource, but it has the potential to um, improve the annual cash flow from this for a short period of time in between the time that Hecla finishes this lease and the time they may up for a new one for the rest of their oxide deposit. We have a new project in Nevada I'm very excited about. I've spent a lot of my career looking for and finding gold in Nevada. Uh, this project came up at low cost uh, and, and has a very exciting uh, surface expression. In the next picture you can see uh, the map on the, on the right um, is the results of surface geochemistry showing the extent of the vein system exposed at surface. Now we're looking at the high level expression of an epithermal system similar to the sleeper deposit that's about 20 miles away. Um, now these are four to five kilometer strike lengths, two of them, they haven't been drilled. Uh, to me it's one of the best projects I've seen in Nevada for a long time. I'm really looking forward to drilling it and uh, we should have drills turning out there sometime late this year. On, on, the, uh, on the left you can see the, uh, um, oh, pardon me, on the right you can see the, <laughs> the, uh, the aeromagnetic map showing in blue the magnet, magnetite destructive uh, alteration halo around these veins and you can see the long strike extent of these systems um, as a course through the property. So this will be an interesting uh, 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 project to drill and, and I'm looking forward to putting some results out early next year. So the catalyst coming up over the year, basically in order of uh, chronology, El Kavar, we're looking to have a partner and moving that forward so we're not exposed by ourselves and we can advance it more quickly without depleting resources. Sand Canyon will drill, uh, have, have results out early next year. Yokivo, a project I didn't talk about in Mexico, it's a district scale play in Chihuahua. Uh, very good surface gold silver grades. Um, that has a lot of potential success. We'll drill that early next year. Velardania, the PEA that I mentioned, and the extension of the oxide mill lease. Uh, Santa Maria is a project in Chihuahua that we've optioned out to Magellan Gold. They, they uh, intend to start production next year and there'll be a cash stream to us based on that. And then Rodeo will be another PEA to publish showing additional cash possibilities coming from the uh, uh, plant two, the oxide plant at Durango. Thank you.